China's longtime second in command, the former Premier Li Keqiang, has died of a sudden heart attack. We begin with news from China, and the former Premier Li Keqiang has died at the age of 68. According to state media, Li died of a sudden heart attack in Shanghai. China's longtime second in command, Li, was known for his pragmatic economic policies. He rose through the party ranks despite not having any power base. At one point, he was even pegged for the top role of president. But during his 10 years as premier, Li served under the shadow of President Xi Jinping, whose grip on power dominated domestic and international policy. Well, for more on Li Keqiang's legacy a little earlier, I spoke with Jennifer Welch. She's the chief geoeconomics analyst at Bloomberg and served as National Security Council director for China and Taiwan. Thank you very much for joining us, Jennifer. Um, Li Keqiang was Premier of China for 10 years, retired earlier this year. What do you see as his legacy? Well, thank you so much again for having me. Uh, this news is certainly a shock this evening that he passed away at a relatively young age. I think Li Keqiang leaves behind a legacy of being seen as uh, a premier to Xi Jinping, but also very much senior official in his own right. And as someone who many believe was working to help keep the economy on good footing, a reformer uh, and a man of the people, as, as some are calling him. What was the relationship like between Li Keqiang and President Xi Jinping? Many think that they came from rival political backings uh, in China in, in terms of Li Keqiang coming up through the Chinese Communist Youth League and Xi Jinping coming from a slightly different grouping of folks that are known as princelings. Uh, and that is a common sort of approach to, to Chinese politics to have various representations in these factions at the highest levels of leadership. Li Keqiang was also seen as being rather close to China's former president, uh, Hu Jintao, and, and being one of his main sort of protégés. So there was a lot of speculation, especially early on in Xi Jinping's tenure of Xi Jinping essentially moving past Li Keqiang to take the top leadership role. Um, and then obviously Xi Jinping being a, a major leader and, and uh, you know, looking to have uh, sort of full control over the reins of power, questions about whether or not that was uh, shifting roles that are traditionally uh, leveraged by the premier, in particular when it comes to the economy. When uh, Li Keqiang retired earlier this year and he gave a retirement speech, there was a lot of commentary at the time, sort of reading between the lines of what he'd said, that he'd been frustrated that he hadn't managed to carry out a lot of those reforms and, in fact, power had shifted back to the party during his time. That's right. It was a it was a really remarkable speech, and he was giving it, I think, in a very uh, windy atmosphere, and commented on uh, that being sort of emblematic of some of the headwinds that uh, he had faced as well. Um, it was uh, seen by many as very careful, very quiet, uh, subtle criticism, um, but also, I think, in many ways, an attempt by Lee to kind of uh, frame his career and uh, the accomplishments that he had had, not just as premier, but in the many senior roles he had played before that point. How do you think his passing will be marked in China? He'll obviously get, a, I think, a, a major funeral, um, and it'll be very interesting to watch the public reaction to this. Again, it, it came as a quite a surprise. Um, I don't believe people had seen Lee as being in uh, any kind of health conditions. He's relatively young. Um, it's a little bit of a shock to the system, so to speak. and. It is not without uh, precedent that there have sometimes been occasions when uh, senior officials pass away it, it suddenly. Um, that, that becomes kind of a moment of uh, political, broader political and public mourning for them and a reflection on not just their tenure, but what they represented. So I think it'll be very interesting to watch the public reaction um, to his death.